In UNC2, I'm going to talk about formats that today's cameras and today's computers use to record or to store or to transmit video production um, material. And I'm going to um, not get too deep into it, but I want to talk about two things, a container and a codec. A container is like a box. Think of it as the vessel that you're going to use to carry video from one place to another. Um, it is an envelope that video is inside of. It is a um, box that video is inside of. When you copy video files from one place to another, like let's say from the camera's memory to your computer's memory, it's being copied inside of this container. Okay? Inside that container, you also have codecs. The codec is the way that the video is saved, the way that it's been um, uh, compressed usually to fit inside that container. So there are different kinds of codecs, different formulas, different algorithms for compressing video, and different codecs are used on video, and those can be different from the container that carries the video. One container could have several different kinds of codecs that it supports, but in general, codecs and containers um, uh, can be confusing and, and, and upsetting to a lot of people. But as video professionals, we should know the difference that a container is the package it, come, it is carried in, a codec is the, um, the algorithm for encoding it. And we talked about compression. Video is compressed or encoded in order to um, take up less space, and then it's shipped in that container or copied until it gets to its new place, and then it is decoded and then um, revealed to the viewer. And sometimes the computer does all that very fast. Here is a little chart that's going to help you with that a little bit. Uh, containers are things like the AVI interface, audio video inter interleave, that's AV.AVI um, files are inside of that container. QuickTime files have a container extension .qt. Uh, advanced video encoding high definition files, or uh, AVCHD, are another container that's very popular today. And the flash container has been around for a long time, but it might be um, going out of fashion, being used less and less. You'll see those videos as .flv or .swf, four different containers that we could use to carry video from one place to another. Within those containers, we'll see a variety of codecs. We might see the Windows Media Video Codec, .wmv. We might be using an MPEG-2 or an MPEG-4 codec. Uh, also known as H.262 and H.264. These are compression methods used to um, make video fit inside of a container. A container is the vessel that we use to carry video from one place to another. That's all you need to know. But on the test, there will be a question about the difference between a container and a codec.